Do you want to say, I am due for a bath? Say hi, stinky, smelly puppy pudge. Say hi. <laughs> Welcome to our second channel. I don't quite have an intro yet because I don't know what I'm doing, but Welcome to my second channel. Um, if you're here, you're probably from my first channel or my plant channel. So thank you for being here um, and letting me not talk into the abyss of nothingness. But um, I am so nervous. I'm so scared to do this. More scared than I was when I first started my plant YouTube. Um, just as an FYI to people who are well seasoned to my plant um, YouTube, this channel is going to be way more chill, way more relaxed. Um, n none of these like super long drawn out intros like I do on my plant channel but I figured for my first one I should do a little bit of an introduction and kind of tell you guys what this channel is going to be about which is why I am sitting here speaking to you all today. I don't even know how I got here. Um, I went from being a headless YouTuber um, on my plant channel because I was so afraid of making videos and showing my face to now starting a second channel where all I'm gonna do is show my face and my life, um, which is the most terrifying part of it because if you've been following me for a little bit, you know that I get quite amount of hate from my plant channel, which I'm actually quite used to now, but I think having the second channel is gonna just <laughs> open it up to like so much more scrutiny or open myself up to so much more scrutiny which I think I have to mentally prepare for because I am going to be sort of sharing so much um, things that I just would rather not show because I know people can pick you apart um, for the smallest things but a fun fact about me is that I am just fascinated by regular people, ordinary people. I'm a regular ordinary people. I am fascinated by people's to-do lists. I'm fascinated by people's schedules, their routines. Um, when I'm in the car, I will look at like every single person and just like wonder where they're going, what they're gonna do that day. Like, I don't know why my brain um, has been sort of hardwired that way. I'm just so like fascinated by it. Like celebrities and and all that pop culture stuff i don't really keep up with because it's not relatable to me and i just don't really care that much but like the average person i'm just like i need to know everything about you so um i feel like because i am very regular and ordinary that it might be fun to kind of share these things with you just sort of my everyday life being at home like 99.9 percent .9 of the time um trying to cook with you guys because i cannot cook for shit um, baking, I can't bake for shit either. Cleaning, I can clean the shit out of shit. So um, lots of cleaning on this channel and just kind of sharing life stuff. I'm not very good at vlogging, uh, so I can't make any guarantees that like, I'll be good at like, oh, let's take you through my day or whatever. Or like if I'm hanging out with friends or family, um, I'm just like really not good with that stuff. I feel a little bit cringe when I have my camera out when I'm with people. So, um, I'm going to say that 99% of this channel is going to be me at home. Um, when I was brainstorming what I wanted to do for my first video, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to vlog my California trip. It's going to be so good and everyone's going to love it. And then I realized I'm so shit at vlogging. I just can't do it. I, I am just not good at documenting my life as I'm living it. Um, so instead, I am going to roll you a five-ish minute clip of my California trip. I'll put a timestamp if you like truly don't care. And then we're just gonna come back here and you will spend the rest of my Sunday with me and then I will see you in the kitchen. Okay, I'm gonna go say hi to Axel now, okay? <laughs> you 
go pop up? Who's this? Who's this one? It's your own. Oh my god. Who's that one? Oh my god. You're so big. You're so big. Younger. I'm back, the headless YouTuber, with her trusty pug, Pud. And I'm the mean sister. The mean sister. <laughs> She's the fertile sister. Do I look haggard? Thank you.
need a new baking pan. The reason it looks like this is because I burn just about everything I put into my oven. So let's just ignore that. I have my aluminum foil. I know it's aluminum, but I like to say aluminum. And I'm gonna cover this solely because I don't wanna look at it. Now, I mentioned I don't cook, okay? Like I will do the absolute bare minimum. If it were up to me, if I was not married, if I didn't have anyone that depended on me to cook because my husband does not cook and it's fine, I agreed to that in this marriage. That was our, you know, we shook on it. Um, I use him for his money. He uses me for my mediocre cooking and it just works. I'm a Walmart stan, okay? I love Walmart. Walmart's great. And Walmart has just about everything that I need to make it through this life without dying from malnutrition. So what I cook him are these wild caught breaded haddock, haddock fillets. Now, I know that I could make him things like sandwiches and like chicken breasts and things like that, but here's the thing about my husband. He, he is a routine kind of guy. Like he does not break his routine and I have offered to make him different kinds of meals, um, like an assortment, maybe like a different meal every day so he doesn't get tired of it. No, he doesn't want it. He wants this every single week, five days a week. He's been having this, I'm not kidding, for years. If it works, it works. So this is one thing that I make him are these fillets that you literally just chuck in the oven. So then with his fish, he gets frozen veggies. Obviously I don't serve it to him frozen. I literally just nuke it in the microwave, add a little bit of butter, and then we call it a day. So this bag comes with, it says 585 grams, but there's like enough for about a week and some change. I give him one of these little, what kind of shape is that? One, two, three, four hexagon. I give him one of these per day. Oh, I forgot to preheat the oven. Crapola. While I'm waiting for the oven to preheat, um, I'm going to start on the veggies. And again, because I'm a lazy sack of crap and I will try to be in the kitchen for as least amount of time as possible, I don't stir fry the veggies. I know it would be more delicious if I did, but seriously, my husband doesn't care. So while I was cleaning out my mother-in-law's townhouse, I found these two nifty little things. And I was like, what in the heck are they? They don't have a brand on it, although I do think it's Betty Crocker. Oh no, it's not. It's Ma M Mastrad. Mastrad bland, bland? Mastrad bland, brand. Mastrad, Mastrad brand. You basically can just like put anything in here and nuke it and it'll like steam it for you. So this has been a godsend. Some of you probably have your ass clenched right now, especially if you're like good in the kitchen. If Alice is watching this, um, my my plant bestie, probably like shaking her head in disappointment. But you know what? I'm just gonna be exposing myself on this channel and oh, that's how it's gonna go. So I literally just pop both of them into the microwave at the same time. And I just do it for two minutes and 30 seconds to start. I'm truly not lying when I tell you, I do the bare minimum. Um, for his rice, we do these like instant, not instant, is it an instant rice? Yeah, it's like a microwavable rice or you can also cook it on the stove. It's kind of like a, what's the American version of this? rice -roni? is that right? What I do is um, just add this. And then I fill these bags with water. I forgot I was supposed to add the packets first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just take these lids off and I give it a little stir. 
never in my life did I think I would be showing people how I cook. And I'm doing air quotes in my mind right now. Cook. And then I will microwave it for like another two to three minutes. While the rice is a cooking, I'm just gonna add some flavors, some flavor profiles to this delicious frozen, um, frozen veggies. Broccoli smells like fart. Oh my gosh, seriously? Okay, first flavor profile, butter. I must warn the vegans, um, vegetarians, pescatarians to look away. I will put a timestamp to fast forward this part because I will be handling raw meat and I don't want to trigger anyone. So go to this timestamp and fast forward. Tonight for dinner, I'm making a pesto spaghetti with some grilled chicken. So, well not grilled chicken, but like sauteed chicken breast. Um, my husband and I are trying to eat healthier this year because we both have gained a lot of weight. Not that we're saying we want to be like freaking skinny and tiny, but we feel unhealthy. Um, I like I'm having a harder time going up the stairs and I don't have as much energy and I am definitely like at my, I would say my heaviest weight right now and it's about 10 pounds over what I normally am. So uh, yeah, we've got to cut down on the door dashing and the McDonald's because we both love McDonald's, but that's got to stop. So anyway, um, yeah, tonight for dinner, I'm making pesto chicken. Why is it so bright? Um, I'm making pesto chicken and hopefully it's good because like I said, guys, I'm really, really not good at cooking. So I'm just gonna slice these breastuses in half because they are quite thick. And I freaking hate handling raw meat. It literally makes me gag so much. I was um, pescatarian for a year and then I thought maybe I could go vegetarian, but I, I just couldn't do it. It's just, I feel like I was always weak and always like feeling really sick and I was kind of unhealthy too. Um, I dropped a lot of weight and yeah, it was just like not good. So now I call myself a meat minimalist. If I can eat a vegetarian version of something, I will. And I do not eat meat seven days a week. If I did, I would feel so sick. So. I just love carbs. I could eat carbs like every single day and just be like super happy. I'm not really sure how, I think I'm gonna cut it this way. Something that I definitely need this year is um, our new knives. My knives are hand-me-down knives and they're not very good. I'm just kind of cutting them into like little slivers like this. I do have to go grocery shopping this week. It's the first time that we're gonna go grocery shopping since before we left for California. So we are pretty like empty on everything. Um, it's just, I don't know when we're gonna have time to go this week because both of us have a pretty packed schedule. Um, but I thought that it would be fun to do a little grocery store haul because those are like one of my favorite things to watch or like hauls in general, especially when it's from a grocery store. I don't know why I enjoy it so much. I don't really enjoy the like shopping hauls like for fashion stuff. I just don't really have an interest in that. But the thing is, is I don't think that you're like allowed to film in public places like that, like inside a grocery store. I don't think, and even if like you could, I think I'd be too embarrassed. Like I'd feel really cringy. So I don't know, we'll see. We'll see if that ever works out. Okay, so now 
I will be adding some flavor profiles to this chicken breast. Oh, it feels so gross, I hate it. In the chicken breast, I'm gonna put some of this olive oil that I got from my friends while they were in Europe. And just add a tiny, tiny bit. Since I'm gonna be sauteing these, some salt. And some pepper. You guys roast how dirty my kitchen is I will sue you Gonna be a bit loud, but um, I'm gonna add some uh, garlic powder to a little bowl, some um, chicken, chicken, chicken bouillon, and some boiling water. And then I'm just going to add it to my chicken. but I don't so I'm just gonna use this rotini instead I don't really like using rotini for pesto but that is where we are so um, and then for my pesto I am NOT making it from scratch because again I'm not Martha Stewart but I do like this uh, little jarred one that again I get from Walmart and I find it to be very delicious so I'm gonna throw the rotini in the pot and then we will start packing up my uh, husband's lunches. I'm gonna do a little taste test to make sure it's not dry, but usually when I do that method of adding water with um, the garlic and whatever, before I pan fry it, it actually uh, stays pretty juicy. Yep, nice and tender, not dry at all. Now to make my rotini. The next step is probably gonna piss some people off, but I like to add dried tomato from 
the same brand. I just, it's so yummy. My husband and I both like it more than having it without. So I add it and I don't care who says I'm annoying or I'm doing it wrong. I know that I'm doing it wrong, but I like it, okay? And then I'm gonna actually add my chicken too. Where am I, you know, the top, oh. Normally I would add the chicken after, but I wanna get some of those flavor profiles into the chicken. I'm not gonna add all of it, just some. Now this looks like an atrocity, but it is actually good. I don't always like my cooking. I very rarely like my cooking and very rarely do my meals look pleasing on the plate. It usually tastes better than it looks. Cooking is done and I'm sweaty and I'm hot and I wanna take a shower, but I have to clean the kitchen and I'm just gonna time lapse it really quick and then we're gonna wrap this sucker up. I need to air out my armpits. Hello everyone, my name is Pudge. This is Pudge, he is my dog, obviously. Um, he is a pretty big part of my other channel and I hope that he can be a big part of this channel too. Um, despite the haters coming for me every week about having a pug, um, I'm sorry, he is in my house. I love him very much. He eats better than I do. He is cared for better than I do. He goes to the doctor more than I do and um, we just love them. So anyway guys, I'm so hot and like I can literally feel a bead of sweat like falling down my forehead and also my armpits are like sticking to each other. It's quite foul. I hope you guys enjoyed this random first video. Um, to be honest, I feel like I'm still trying to get my bearings. I don't really know what the the editing style and filming style of this channel is gonna be yet. I do want it to be a little different than my, my original channel. So um, things will probably change a lot um, in the next coming months, but uh, hopefully I get a little bit more comfortable doing these style videos because I, I'm telling you, I am out of my element. I'm not comfortable and um, I'm just still trying to get the hang of it. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. If you didn't like it, then you don't have to give it a thumbs up, and that's okay. Um, next week, or not next week, in the next video, we will be cleaning. I'm pretty sure most of the videos I'm going to put out is cleaning, because if I'm not doing plant stuff, and if I'm not working, I'm just cleaning. So, hope you don't mind, and my dishwasher is screaming now, so we're going to go. Hope you guys all have the day that you deserve. We love you very much, and we will see you next time.